Hi everybody, my name is Alexia Vlachos Kalokasidis and I'm a transformational coach for moms, a light worker and a conscious parenting advocate. I am a mom of two and I am very excited to share with you on the invitation of Susanna how I am navigating, learning and incubating um, the past few weeks. Okay, so um, one thing that I would love to share with you, I had some notes somewhere, but they've gone. There you go. Um, just spill right into this. Something that I have learned over the past weeks is that because I work from home, shifting into a, a, home, a work from home environment hasn't really um, been something new for me. I've been working from home for the past couple of years and it's not something new to me. But what was really new to me, it was a big, big new learning experience was having the kids home all day, every day, okay? Um, yes, we bonded. Yes, we've had amazing breakthroughs. Yes, we've had um, amazing, beautiful time together that was very much needed. And we really got the time to like slow down, you know, really slow down and take stock of what's important. Um, at the same time, I really learned how to just pivot like that pivot and let go of things that um, may have been triggers for me in the past, but have now just fizzled away because I have just learned to um, let go of things looking perfect, let go of wanting to control everything and accepting and being more in a surrender state so that I am more in my flow because <coughs> The more we cling on to things, the more we cling to controlling a situation or to controlling an outcome, the more we are tight, the more strained we are and the more rigid we are actually. So more surrender means more flow. And that's what I have discovered in these past weeks. I have had some incredible breakthroughs, personal breakthroughs on a very deep spiritual level, which I am infinitely grateful for. Um, I have been challenged in my own work um, and I have really learned that incubation, and I think my kids are home now, <laughs> incubation is actually in biology, it means that, that it's a time that is required for something to develop, you know, to come to life. So for example, the, the time that a, a, a turtle egg um, needs to hatch, okay? And the past weeks that we have been home has truly been an incubation period for me as I get to, you know, brood and keep warm the desires that I have, my vision that I have for my life and my family and my business, and just to stand strong, even stronger in the trust and the knowing that things are infinitely possible and that I get to touch people's lives whoever comes my way okay so this whole period has truly been an incubation in, in the best sense of the word because I have had the time even though it's been a crazy time I've had the time to truly reflect and honestly um, I have never given myself so much time before as a mom so i have devoted time to me i have made it a priority to pr devote time to me by and i do that by getting up way earlier than the kids so i get a good night's sleep i get up way earlier than the kids so that i can go for my walk in the morning so that i can have a jog if i want to so that i can have my coffee in peace and quiet okay so the kids are not a um a thorn in my side not at all. I get to be flexible in my own program because I want to be, um, my, I want my cup to be full so that I can give it to them as well. Okay. So that's what I have experienced in the last weeks. Um, I hope it's been, I hope this helps anyone who's listening. Thank you, Susanna, for this incredible opportunity to be, to share with you and to share my experience of this period with you. Um, and just know that just like a tip a tip for you guys that are watching for the moms that are watching and the moms that are feeling um overwhelmed or 
at any point of the day know that we coaches and and motivators and whoever whoever you know is is um, a leader in their field know that we also have our challenging days okay it doesn't mean because i'm a coach it doesn't mean that because i get to transform people's lives i help them to transform their lives doesn't mean that I'm immune to challenges, not at all. I have my challenges. I get angry. I get sad. I cry. I get frustrated. I get overwhelmed. I do. And I also get to have an incredible life, even though I feel those. I have learned that my emotions are my biggest guide, that I get to have huge breakthroughs by actually um, not ignoring my emotions. Sorry, I'm getting a bit clogged here. Not ignoring my emotions, but actually plowing into them, plowing into them and really embracing what they're trying to show me, really embracing the dark sides, the dark corners that I have yet to discover, that I have yet to unfold. It's like, it's like you're opening up a love letter, you know? This is how you should see yourself, you know, the, the, the emotions that come up, the dark sides of you. See it as opening up a love letter to your heart because that's what it is, your emotions, especially the hardest ones, especially the darkest ones, they're guiding you somewhere and you get to follow that trail, follow that trail and open up that love letter that wants to be shown to you because by opening that up, you get to express that emotion, empty out your bucket, empty out that bucket. It's like squeezing a sponge. This is how I explain it to my clients. Your heart is full of emotions and you get to squeeze that squeeze it out and everything comes out and once you let go of that sponge it's porous so it can be filled again filled again okay and you get to choose what you want to fill it with okay i hope that helps you guys i love you very much whoever's watching thank you so much for um listening to me and i'll see you when i see you bye